वन इज अस्मत बेस्ड वेर यू हैव बिस्मत सबसेट प्लस मेट्रोनिडाजोल प्लस टेट्रासाइक्लिन द अदर वन इज रानिटेड इन बिस्मत सबसेट्रेट प्लस टेट्रासाइक्लिन प्लस क्लैरेथ्रोमाइसिन और मेट्रोनिडाजोल Hi guys, Dr. Patil here, and today I'm going to enlighten you about a feature in the Preplatter NTSS app called as Treasures. Now, Treasures are those tiny little files where a lot of information, which can be asked as an MCQ, is condensed into single file. So, one that I'm talking right now is from the gastroenterology, and it is about the drugs recommended for the eradication of H. pylori infection. We are already familiar that there are we need to treat the H. pylori infection with a combination of drugs. We have something called as triple therapy and quadruple therapy. So, what are the well-known triple therapies? One is a bismuth based where you have bismuth subsalicylate plus metronidazole plus tetracycline. The other one is ranitidine in bismuth substrate plus tetracycline plus clarithromycin or metronidazole. That's a second triple drug therapy. Third triple drug therapy includes omeprazole plus clarithromycin. Plus either metronidazole or amoxicillin. Now, what additional points you need to know is the usual recommended duration of therapy is for around 10 to 14 days for most of the regimens. And you also need to know about the local prevalence of resistance, which antibiotic is locally resistant, and you should avoid using that. So, clarithromycin is one major concern. Now, in country like India, clarithromycin resistance is extremely high. There are several reasons. The most common reason is Azithromycin and other macrolides are used left, right and center for any simple upper respiratory infection or sore throat without even thinking whether it is viral or bacterial. So you go and take a random survey. Most of the people will say that in the preceding three months, I did take a course of azithromycin for some sore throat or some running nose. And because of that, clarithromycin resistance is very high. And when the clarithromycin resistance is more than 15% in the local population, it is not advisable. More than 15%. It is not advisable. So, clarithromycin based regimens are not something that you can comfortably pick in India. So, what is the best regimen to start in India? Most of the gastroenterologists probably agree that in India, we should ideally start with a bismuth based quadruple therapy because the resistance to metronidazole is relatively high, clarithromycin is high. So, most of these regimens become not usable for India. So, please don't start any patient of H. pylori infection with a triple therapy. Always start with quadruple therapy. Now, what are the components of quadruple therapy? One is omeprazole. Obviously, you need a PPI. Second one is bismuth subsalicylate. I've already told you a bismuth based. Then metronidazole and tetracycline. So, this four combination, right? So, easy to remember. OBMT. OBMT is the combination for quadruple therapy. Duration, obviously, 10 to 14 days. So, that's a quick summary of treatment of H. pylori infection from the Prepladder Neatesis treasures. Subscribe and press the bell icon so you never miss an update from Prep Ladder.